Extra, extra, read all about it. Libra, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Yes, this is an oracle energy reading. It is not a horoscope. So this is for Libra, sun, moon, rising, or wherever Libra energy influences your natal chart. You can apply these themes for the next week or so. Um, um, or if you're dealing with a Libra, you can apply it to that. I don't date the times or anything like that anymore just because uh, I've realized that people don't, it doesn't matter to people. So uh, this message will come to you when it's supposed to come to you, Libras. But if you do want the uh, freshest, newest, latest Libra video, I make one every single week. So please click subscribe. You'll help the channel grow and you'll also be able to click that bell so that you get notified when I do all the new videos. You'll get the content fresh off the press. Now, this is the starter video. I also do an extended reading, a full tarot card spread that articulates, um, goes into specifics and personalizes the energies that we start with on YouTube. And that also includes a full romantic spread. I do romantic tarot predictions as well. And that link is up above. All right, Libras, let's get into your energy. Libra, interesting. Crowning your energy, we have a triple crown, triple, you better stop. See, that's not easy to attain. And now I got a message. Here we go, Libra, triple crown. Think on your feet. Sometimes life stings and magic works through you. This is you like basically crossing over lines and not being concerned if you're going into dangerous territory because something matters so much to you. This is an energy about healing, about enduring, about persevering, about going with the flow and learning to improvise or being pushed to the point where you hurt so much or have hurt so badly, you're not setting any expectations anymore. You've given up those expectations for, um, for uh, uh, peace of mind. Uh, yeah, you've kind of like traded one in for the other just because uh, something has been bugging you, something has been um, definitely keeping you on your toes. There could be some level of frustration that has been spurring you into action where normally you would not have been. This is Cancerian energy, this is Scorpio energy, and this is Sagittarius energy. Um, mm, uh, let's see. No, no, no. I don't know if you're dealing with any of those signs, but I don't think this is intentionally sign specific, especially in the crowning energy. This is definitely wanting to, um, uh, wanting to fix something, heal something, um, make something better simultaneously and, and, and in doing so and, and to do so making the decision to <laughs> just let things happen. It's, it's almost like that energy, like, th like throwing your hands in the air and saying, I give up. And I'm just going to do whatever comes at me, whatever, whatever ball you pitch, I'm going to swing at, or I won't swing. Like it's literally making a decision that, that deciding is not the best decision. That thinking ahead too far is not the best decision because every time you plan, it's like the best laid plans. I just discussed that on my daily this, this morning, the best laid plans always fall to do do. So it's, it's almost like I'm not laying down the plans anymore. Uh, let's get more into this energy and see why, why. Magic works through you. All right. You were very into talking. Let's go. Be fearless and bold. This is Aries energy. Now, Aries is your is your zodiac wheel opposite, right? So it is the house of self. This is a house of self-confidence, self-worth, self-value, self-knowledge. As we come upon, okay, the full moon tonight in your sign, I'm filming this on the night of the full moon, the Libra full moon. Um, it's really interesting that the opposite sign would show up. 
to basically almost counterbalance or counter the idea of partnership and put in your face somehow that you are important as well. The idea that the best partnerships start with a really firm sense of self. When this is aggressively pursuing something, chasing something, wanting something, making plans and strategizing to get your way and get what you want, that's this energy and it's Aries energy. It's also the energy of four, if you see that number right there. So it's it's a grounding energy. So it's feeling very firm and very secure and certain or wanting to. Then we have lay a solid foundation. The energy of six is a very loving energy, a very partnership oriented energy. And this is Virgo. Virgo is healing and health, which we got in the reading in the crowning energy uh, maybe healing yourself, healing wounds, and making a decision that the best thing for you to do to um, to ensure that you, hold on, such allergies, I apologize, had a big old sneeze coming on. Um, uh, you know, this is fiercely planning something that you want, but, but, but it's, it's, it's that, um, Interesting. Fiercely planning for something that you want. Making a decision to go for it. Life is speeding up. This is Gemini energy. I don't know if you're dealing with a Gemini, but this is an energy of making a decision, seeing something, deciding that something is firm, deciding that something is going to be long term, and then making it happen. This is two becoming one, the energy of something picking up. Something that you're working on, something that you're interested in, something that you're building is, is taking on momentum. Truth transcends illusion. This is Aquarius energy or rising out of the ashes. It could be um, Scorpio energy. Uh, dragonfly represents uh, transformation because they start off in the water as a little larva that can't do much. And then they become one of the most amazing flyers on the planet. Like they can move in any direction. It's, it's, an, it's an amazing animal and beautiful animal. Um, so they, they, um, they represent an awakening. And this is your central energy. I just feel like there's a bigger story here. That's why I'm like, I'm not really like secure in saying, because usually I'm picking up on energies, but right now it's like I'm picking up on hints. This is all a hint and a, and a puzzle being put together of like what's happening and what's going on, which is maybe what you're going through. Like step by step, little by little, like trying to put together some pieces to make them make sense and understand. Um, but truth transcends illusion is... Um, the truth coming out, accepting the truth about oneself, accepting oneself, revealing who you really are to the rest of the world or revealing, revealing something about yourself or re revealing or something coming out, something, something being laid bare. Trust in divine detours. Um, this energy came up big time in the daily reading. So one plus six is seven, the energy of creating. You are creating something, but you are going off, off you're going off the norm. You're, you're moving in a direction that you normally would not do. Maybe it's a sense of a new career move or a new way to look at yourself or a new way um, to apply your talents and skills. Taking on, You could be taking on a leadership role in terms of sort of World Health Organization or leading your community to do something or, um, you know, if you are a you know, if you're a corporate worker, normally you may be volunteering or doing some some things. In other words, you are taking what you normally do and you are diver diverting from it uh, intentionally and purposefully in order to create some sort of awareness or some sort of functionality around you. Trust in divine detours. And then we have learn from the past. Two plus five is equal seven. Now you have seven, seven, two sevens. Um, interesting. I think like the mystery thickens. Jesus, Libra, what are you doing? Because I think that maybe you have not revealed 
all that's going on inside of you or what is really happening inside of you right now. Or you're part of a top secret plan that nobody can, you know, like there's this energy of not being able to speak or say or, or, or share uh, what you are really doing or what you're really up to. Not, not because you're trying to be deceptive, but because you're almost being protective of whatever it is you're working on until you're certain that it's safe to unveil. This is um, learning from the past, knowledge, wisdom, Taurus energy, moving forward, being certain, being secure, almost like the ruler of the grasslands. This is elephant energy, mother energy, very maternal energy, something, a great, a great memory. Um, this is it's almost like something has just clicked inside of you and it's it's like all it's like it dawned it dawned on you you realized it something that you had dealt with in the past or you see happening again and so and and it's it spurred you on almost stampede style to move forward and get something done because hey you know what this is this has happened before we can't let it happen again or because i went through this i know what's going on and i, I like you're you're almost like stepping up and and leading other people or somebody else through this. It could very well be that you just like suddenly realize that your friend was going through something or that somebody that you loved was going through something and all of a sudden it, it just made sense. Everything all the pieces clicked in and now it's the sense of trying to like get them to uh get like tell them the truth or tell them what you realize and get them to move out of a situation that you uh, know is they're going on, it's like they're going down the wrong path and you're trying to divert them from that path. This definitely has something to do with you intervening. Like, but this is then, then your crowning energy is throwing your hands in the air and getting disassociating yourself from the pain. So maybe this is something that you've been working on for quite some time, but it's not, it's not, you're not making any pro progress or headway. And it's just like you, you've come to a point where this, it's, a, it's like, I can't move it forward anymore. I got to just let spirit take the wheel and, and, and see what happens from here. Because like, there's only so much that I can do, um, before, uh, they turn on me. That's what I got before they turn on me. Um, Brown bear, take time out. This is mama bear energy. This is very protective and defensive energy. Maybe even, even, but I think it's coming from you. This is a sense of defending something that you love a great deal or hankering back and like, and like uh, sort of, um, what are you battering up the hatches type of thing? Like, like not, yeah, like, uh, kind of just totally at a loss for words, being on the defensive, protecting, protective energy of protecting something that you love and that you really have um, a, a, a concern for, something that, something that you have a great concern for. Like I said, like mama bear energy, don't, don't wake the bear, kind of, um, you, you don't, it's maybe that you don't even want to, you don't want to get to this point, but you feel yourself this close you know that you, you're about to get there and you don't want to get there. Something, this is the energy of nine. So something is coming to a head. It's coming to, uh, it's coming to the surface. Maybe it's that mama bear energy, or you can almost feel it coming out in somebody else, which is why, even though you're trying to push them toward the truth, you're trying to, maybe, maybe you're realizing that they're not ready for your truth. It's, it's like you're trying to come out and, and say something to the world at large, to the people in your life, to your world. Um, but uh, you, won't, you know that there's some sort of pushback. You have these two energies here, very fierce and strong defensive energies. So maybe that's why you had to try to find another way to deliver this or another delivery system. Because there's you're you're getting a whole shit ton of defense coming at you. You and it's not necessarily fully out. It's almost like you know you can intuitively feel somebody's reaction to something. So you're like, help, like stop, stop yourself. It's like you know that you have to find another delivery system to deliver these facts. But there's a realization and an understanding that you are privy to, and it's just like you don't know how to deliver it. Grounding energy is dream the world into being. Yeah. Grounding you is a surefire sense and understanding that you are dealing with some demons here. And even though you want to move the move 
move forward or your situation or circumstance or somebody in your life to move forward. There are things in old haunts and past um, past concerns that are still like creeping around that graveyard at night. And it's like, it's like you, it, it, right now you're just aware of it, not necessarily knowing what to do with it, but really uncovering, maybe uncovering some skeletons in somebody's closet. The miracles are endless. This is the energy of six too, uh, six as well. So this is abundance and prosperity, Taurus energy. So financial fulfillment, financial abundance. It could very well have to do with the fact that you just discovered some sort of financial BS going around, uh, some, some, something hidden, some hidden money, some hidden funds. Um, maybe, maybe inherited funds or hidden funds that somebody was trying to kind of keep on the DL and then be playful. Another more energy, uh, energy of six, you have, um, trying to stay on the surface, trying to stay shallow and stay light dealing with this circumstance or situation, um, almost like do, 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 do. I didn't see nothing. I didn't say anything. almost like trying to divert the attention away from you so that maybe somebody won't come get you type of energy. Like, like, no, 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 I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Or you did say it. And now you don't want to draw attention to the fact that you did say it and then know your worth. Um, also an energy of not something's fucking coming out, something of either about you or something that you know, and maybe you don't want people to know that you've known it, but the truth is going to come out bottom line. And then people are going to come knocking on your door asking, well, why didn't you tell me? Or, um, why didn't you say something? And they're going to be extremely defensive. I can say, tell you that right now you're dealing with some hard ass energies, um, trying to get something done an energy of, of pushing, trying to get something done. Um, um, trying to figure something out, trying to make things work out. There's something here that you knew that you knew that some people are going to be like knocking on your door. Like, why didn't you tell me? You don't want your attention drawn to yourself right now in terms of what it is that you understand or how you understand or how you came to understand it. But simultaneously, I do feel like there is this need to want to help, to want to use the information that you have to somehow help people. But uh, like I said, the trick is how... how <laughs> How do you distribute the truth without being taken down by it or taken out by people who are offended by it? This is a conundrum for a Libran, a true Libran, like Libra energy is trying to find that perfect balance between both sides. And I think that that's maybe why you're stuck. You're stuck because you're trying to find the balance and you're trying to find the compromise. And it doesn't seem like there is one here. It seems like the real balance and what really needs to happen is the chaos just needs to just burst out and explode. Hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to flip the camera around. So this is some, this is, this is interesting grounding energy, um, in that you're aware like that's the grounding energy. You're aware of where the stinker is and you're trying to skip on the shallows and just focus on the good stuff in your life because honestly, this heavy stuff, very scorpionic energy, this heavy stuff, this heaviness is not something that you really want. You, It's almost like you don't want to be privy to what you're privy to. You didn't really ask to understand what you wanted to understand and now what to do with that information Right now, you're trying to divert the attention away from yourself just to keep yourself safe and like be like, I didn't know anything or uh, keep a distance between you and uh, like yourself and your, yeah, your person and the truth. But then there's this energy of also knowing that it's important and understanding that it, 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 it has to be talked about and discussed. But how to go about discussing it, a sense of throwing your hands in the air. That's that's what you're, where you're at right now. Right now is there is a sense of, I don't have the answers. I don't have the solutions. I just got to let this play out. And that's where the kaboom happens, Libra. That's where the explosion happens. Because it's like, like being at such an impasse that there is, you can't decide. You, you, there's impossible. You just have to step out of the way and let it explode on its own. And you know why you're stuck? You know why you're coming to that conclusion? Because that's actually the right conclusion. I know you want to do more, but the way that things are set up, it's almost like stuck between a rock and a hard place. You just need to hunker down and take cover. Like this could be also telling you to just 
quickly divert yourself away um, and you know uh, close up the hatches and and protect yourself uh, kind of defend yourself as this sort of explosiveness comes out this sense of oh my god what's going on I can't believe I understand this or I being being really sh almost shocked at what you what you know so um, nitty gritty details let's go into it we're gonna go into the full tarot card spread and then Libra also into the romantic tarot hopefully we can get some necessary advice on how to work through what seems to be um, uh, a field of landmines so uh, I'll see you guys over there